Hey guys, just making a, another Christmas light video, repair video here. Uh, the lot, one I did last year had a lot of success, so I just want to go in more into depth on this one about why things uh, work the way they do with these Christmas light strands. So if you haven't seen the first video I made last year, check that out first. It'll actually show you how to repair these uh, without any special tools. All you need are replacement bulbs and or replacement fuses that go in the end of this plug here. So check that video out first if you're looking at how to repair it. If you want to know more about how and why these work the way they do and you know why the repairs have to be done in a certain way, uh, then keep watching this. So the link for that original video will be in the description of this video or I'll put it up on the, up on the screen here somewhere. So uh, first thing I want to talk about is why half the strand or you know parts of the strand can be out and some are not. Really what it boils down to is the way these strands are wired. So, you know, let's say you've, this is a full working strand. Let's say you lose one bulb, like it's burnt out, corroded, or um, just isn't there. If I pull it out, you'll see a portion of the strand doesn't work. Another, and, the re and that's because it's just not receiving power because we've broken um, the continuity right here because we've taken this bulb out. The other half of the strand is working because it is still receiving uh, line power and neutral via the back half of the strand, if that makes sense. So if you look at these, and this will sort of touch on why both fuses need to work um, in this plug in order for the whole strand to work. Um, so what happens is you can put this plug in either way into the wall. If it goes in this way, you know, the uh, right hand side would be line and this side would be neutral. If you plug it in this way, this would be um, line and this would be neutral. So normally people would, you know, most people plug it in like this if it's on a wall socket, so it's coming straight down. So what happens is you've got your power coming in here on the right hand side. In here is an internal little fuse, which we'll get to in a sec. And all that does is it completes the circuit from this piece of metal here through the fuse comes out actually the female port here to continue more uh, Christmas lights if you want to plug them in, but it also continues to this wire right here on the right hand side. If we follow that wire down, I mean there's just tape here, but basically it comes out and you'll see the first light in the set here has three wires going into it. That's, that's important for the reason why part of the strand can be out and part of it can't. The power comes in here and this is one of the sockets that it's actually internally wired. So um, the way it works is it comes in here internally wired to this one wire that's exiting and that would be this wire here. So if you follow this wire, it goes to the complete other end of the strand and it provides power to the second half of the strand no matter what is going on with the first half. The other wire that comes out of this socket goes to that first light on this, on this side of the strand then to the next one, then to the next one. And so that is why you can lose this, if you lose this bulb, just the first half will burn out because the power can still continue through this, down this wire all the way to the other end and feed from the other side. Um, in fact, if you, let me, this is a cool thing too. If you, uh, if you plug this in and you lose this first bulb, you'll only lose a portion of the strand. Because I, like I said, it's internally wired to complete this circuit to the wire that goes to the other end of the strand. So we'll put that back. So that is why, I mean, basically why parts of the strand can be out and parts of it are not, is because it's getting power uh, different, two different ways via this initial plug at the front here. That's why it has three and all the other ones have two. Uh, the neutral, just while we're here, if we had it plugged in this way, the neutral will be coming through here through a fuse, there's another fuse, which I'll show you, goes from this metal through the fuse, comes out this port if you want to plug in more lights, and it continues to this wire, which is a neutral, which itself goes through, and you'll see it doesn't connect to anything, it just keeps going through, 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 it goes all the way to the other end of the strand, all the way to this plug here, and that's why you can ad put additional strands onto this plug here and you can continue your neutral through. So let's talk about why, and this is the most important thing, why both of these fuses need to be functioning in order for any part of the strand to work. So if you have a strand of lights that you plug in and none of it comes on, the first thing I would check would be these two fuses in here because if they are not functioning, both of them, this strand will not work ever. So we'll open this up here. 
And I kind of want to do this video in one shot so you guys know I'm not messing around. So usually there's a little door. Some, I've seen ones that have two doors, but at the end of the day, they, they're just covering these fuses here. So let's pop these two fuses out. There's one and then the other. So with both of these fuses out, we can be 100% certain that the, light, the strand will not light. The power, as I said before, cannot travel from this to the wire, from this to the other wire. So I had one uh, guy on YouTube comment saying, you only need one working fuse. Well, that's just not the case because you can't have the, the, the lights will not receive line and neutral if only one fuse is working. So let's try that out. We're gonna put the same fuse as we had uh, back in. I'll we'll put the one back in. And let's put it on the line side. So line side just means the side that's providing power. In North America, it's the one with the small hole if your sockets are wired properly. So we've got one fuse in there on the line side nothing on the neutral side, assuming, and so even though it's not in there, you could also assume that it's burnt out, malfunctioning, corroded, whatever the reason, it's not completing the circuit between this piece of metal and the wire. So I'll plug that in and you'll see it doesn't work. Uh, let's try it the other way. Let's take this fuse out, put it on the neutral side, because maybe for some magical reason, if the neutral side works, the whole thing will work, but we can, one, with 100% certainty, say it will not work. And then we'll put in the other fuse, which is, and it's cool to look inside here. So you can see, like for example, this side, if you guys can see that, you've got this uh, piece of sort of brass, it's probably brass coated. You can see that there's the other end of it right there. It's sort of a little flat plate and that little flat plate touches the one side of the fuse. And then that, piece right there, that piece of metal touches the other side of the fuse and just the fuse sitting in there creates the continuity. This piece of metal on the back side is touching this slot and this wire and then this piece of metal is touching that side of the fuse. The other side of the fuse is touching a piece of metal beside this one which goes to here and to here. So let's put both fuses back in and you'll see why both fuses need to be in for the strand to work at all. If both fuses are not in, the Christmas lights will not function at all. Half strand, full strand, nothing will work. So that's why I always say check the fuses first. It'll save you a lot of aggravation going through this entire strand, checking each bulb. So that's super important. So hopefully that kind of clarified things for some people about what's going on with these lights. Sometimes it's nice to know what's going on. Um, before you attempt to fix it. So if you guys got any questions, uh, just leave a message in the comments. Thank you for watching and Merry Christmas.